Hello and welcome back to the channel. My plan is to flip this Suzuki Bergman as many times as I need to achieve this Honda CBR 600. And this is how I'm gonna do it. So here's the story, the plan. Now the thing of it is, I, for nostalgia reasons, really, really want to get my hands on a CBR 600F. I've owned majority of the models because in my very early 20s, late teens even, I started riding CBR 600Fs. I've owned different models throughout the years, but it's been probably over 15 years since I've had my hands on one. And I used to race these, track day them, I used to go out with my mates, it just used to be absolutely blinking awesome. And I want to relive those golden years. You know, it's like in a Power Ranger suit, bombing around, taking in every single bend with adrenaline pumping through your veins and the biggest smile on your face. Now to achieve this, I came up with a brilliant idea. I thought, Do you know what? I've got the Suzuki Bergman that I actually bought to go all the way to Germany and back. Nicknamed it the Spitfire. It never made it, but it made it to France and it made it back in the end. And I was thinking, it's been sat here ever, ever since. And it's a legendary bike with all the stickers on and the flags. One of the best set off to adventure scenes I've ever filmed in my life. And it's iconic. And I don't just want to sell it and take the stickers off and do it that way. I want to give it to somebody and swap it, I should more say, with somebody that's going to enjoy the bike and loves the channel. So I decided after a couple of non-alcoholic beers to put a post up on Facebook and say, this is what I'm trying to achieve to swap this bike for this bike. Has anybody got a bike or anything they want to swap? Well, I had a couple of takers, but I had one. I had one that I thought, you know what, this is the beginning of something awesome. And that bike is this, a legendary Honda CBF 1000. And, and, we're gonna go now to meet them, hopefully do the swap, and we'll see exactly what we're getting in exchange for the Bergman. Well, here we go. Potentially my final ride on this mighty Suzuki Bergman 400 Spitfire. And it's still got all the stickers on, all the bits and bobs from the mighty charity event. It's quite a weird feeling thinking I'm swapping this out, but this is the beginning of a potentially cool journey to get in this bike to bring me right back down to 21. So it should be good. Right, let's get those last few miles done on the mighty Bergman. So here we are with Nick and his CBF 1000. So you replied to the Facebook post. Yep. And you've basically decided that you like the Suzuki Bergman Spitfire. Oh, so yes. the question is, what's attracted you to this mighty beast? Uh, I don't know what it is about the Bergman, but I've always kind of enjoyed the uh, the looks of them and what they are. Um, just easy riding scooter. And um, yeah, obviously it's a one of a kind with it being the Bergman Spitfire. <laughs> See, I think you're gonna have problems trying to keep the ladies away because you're obviously a married oh, course, married man and now you're going to have to deal with many ladies and people chasing you as you're going Absolutely. down the road. Absolutely. My wife is very worried. <laughs> so Nick, tell me a little bit of history about your CBF 1000. Uh, so I've had the bike just over a year. I, th I think it was February 23 that I bought it. Uh, got it from a guy in Socon Trent uh, with 45,000 miles on it. It's now done about 53, I think it is. Um, we've we've ridden plenty of different rides with it. We do charity events a couple of times a year. Uh, it's just been a cracking bike. The only reason it's up for swaps is because I bought myself a uh, CB750 Hornet. Nice, light. Yes. Very light. Yes. So you're oh, going to yes. come from quite more of a heavy sort of commuter touring bike to sort of a more light, sportier bike. That's it. Something a bit sportier. I went down to uh, the dealership selling it uh, and just fell in love with it. It just, just ticked all the boxes for what I wanted for the next bike, uh, which left this one up for sale. Uh, and this just came about and uh, sounded like a good idea. I was going to say, what's the horsepower of your bike? Uh, roughly 93, I think. Roughly. Have you got any idea what the horsepower of this is? 
30.1, I think you said it was on your video. <laughs> what we like to do, right, add two more noughts on. Of course. And then it's really fast. Yes. And because you've got the flag, it makes this noise of... Blah, 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 <laughs> what means you're going to feel like you're going really quick. Epically quick. And because the front end's quite light, when you go around a bend, you also feel really sketchy. So you go <laughs> slower, but you feel more dangerous and fast like a sports bike. That's what I'm after, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> well, what we'll do, right, before you agree or disagree or run away a million miles, what we'll do is we'll swap bikes. We'll have a little bit of a run. We'll take a last look at the Bergman in action with you on it. Me also on the CVF and see if you're up for this swap. Okay. Well, here we are out on the road on the mighty CBF thousand now Nick was saying that it's the same engine in this as it goes in the fire blade but this is detuned it's got a nice sporty exhaust on it so it oh oh that sounds good sounds very nice and it definitely definitely pulls but do you know what I'm actually super impressed how silky smooth this bike is. What do you say, 53,000 miles? And that is still as silky smooth as the day it came out of the factory. Beautiful. Now this bike's ideal, isn't it? For anybody that goes, you know what, I want a big CC bike to do some touring to up. You've got plenty of panniers to get all of your wife's clothes in and you've got everything that you could possibly need. Engine, smoothness, sporty feel, it's good. I mean, everything feels good. The clutch bites perfectly. It's a nice silky bike. Anyway, let's do what's important. Let's show you exactly how good this looks and how good Nick looks on the Bergman. So after a ride, I can confirm that the CBF 1000 is absolutely beautiful. And we've got the sun going down behind us as we speak. So Nick, what did you think to the mighty Bergman Spitfire? It is as mighty as you said it was. 11 out of 10, definitely. Did you find the steering as you were pulling away doing... Yes, just a little bit <laughs> <It's light>. wobbly. <laughs> <laughs> when you first get on it, you do. You go like that and then you kind of get used to it because there's no weight on it in the front, so it's all on the back. But anyway, the biggest question is, to start this whole swap flipping a motorcycle to get to the mighty CBR600F, have we got a deal? Are we going to swap bikes? And am I going to then try to swap this beautiful CBF1000? Absolutely, yep. Shake my hand, dude. There we go, our first swap now done. So we will see this again in the future because Nick's going to hang on to it. So hopefully it can come back maybe on an adventure or come to one of these big exclusive things I'm not told any about what's going on next year. Maybe, but we'll see. But for now, we have our first swap. So now, with the swap done, this CBF 1000 is now mine. What means it's up for swap? But look at everything that you get. This is a proper touring beast. Fantastic twin brakes, lovely front headlights, just in case your bike doesn't come with any headlights. Of course, heated grips on the clock is actually just over 51,300 miles. But this is a Honda engine, a thousand cc of Honda engine, and it's powerful, reliable, and a lot of fun. Not just that, 
sporty aftermarket exhaust. The baffles are in the back box in case you want to put them back in, but it sounds beautiful and not too loud. Talking about back boxes and luggage, full color coded Honda luggage with it. Just how cool is that? I generally think this bike would suit somebody that's looking to head off on some big adventures, comfortable, two up even, plenty of luggage space, or really, really that dude that wants to use this as his commuting tool, or an all-rounder, pretty much to do it all. This bike could be yours. So here's the thing. This bike is now up for swaps. And the thing of it is, I really want that beautiful Honda CBR 600F. Ideally the F4, if not the one with the black and the gold, the matte black and the gold on it, beautiful bike. Low mileage, minter, and I want to relive my youth. And if you've got one of them, then I'm interested. But if you've got a bike that you think you'd be happy to swap this one for, that gets me one step closer, because that's the name of the game, then I'm also interested. So here's the thing, if you are the man for this beautiful machine, what you need to do is go over to the Helmet Head Facebook page. Now there'll be a link down in the description, plus on the main Helmet Head YouTube page, you can go to all the links, it's there as well. Come over, follow the Helmet Head page, wait for the post to come out and let me know because I'm really interested to see where this story goes and maybe getting some bikes to people that really want to go out on adventures, want to swap, do something different, it's there. But there is also another option. If you so wish, you can make me an offer, as long as it's enough to buy my dream CBR 600F. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. But this baby, this is up for swaps. Swaps. <laughs>